this was question number six we have question number seven so how to convert between polar and rectangular coordinates okay so i'll just see the solution oh god i'll just explain it we need to convert uh, between polar and rectangular okay Um, so I'll just draw a coordinate system and let's say we have a point P here and let's say this is um, sorry this is y axis this is x axis this distance is y this distance is x so this will be um, yeah pretty much this one only so in a rectangular coordinate system basically we represent the point in terms of this distance x and y or the perp perpendicular distance of the axis so the coordinate p will have p will have x comma y as their coordinates okay let's say x1 y1 and uh, the equation for this will be so if I draw one line from here and then we can clearly see that this is a right angle triangle so I can write this as so let's say the length this length is r so using Pythagoras theorem I can say that r square is um, this x square plus 5 square so this uh, rectangular coordinate system is also called as Cartesian coordinate system and like in practical engineering problems we um, mostly we use Cartesian coordinate system but yeah in uh, I have encountered some problems where we have to deal with uh, um, uh, what we say that radial fields or some uh, tangential fields in that case we had to use cylindrical or so uh, um, spherical coordinate system um, but here Cartesian coordinate system is given so this is the Cartesian coordinate system now let's say this angle as theta so in a um, rectangular coordinate system we represent the coordinate in terms of this distance x and y distance the perpendicular distance from both the axes um, so this was rectangular and for polar coordinate system uh, we um, we take the length of the uh, this uh, line which joins the point from the origin and we take the angle between that line and the uh, positive x-axis so um, in uh, polar coordinate we represent this as r comma theta now if this is r this is theta then i can write cosine theta will be this is base and perpendicular so base is x perpendicular is uh, sorry base is x and hypotenuse is r and i can write sine theta as um, this is perpendicular opposite so this will be y over r so I can write um, I can write uh, this as x equal to r cos theta y equal to r sin theta so we have already like you can see that we have already obtained the conversion for um, the rectangular coordinate system to um, uh, polar coordinate system 
so uh, uh, no 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 not so uh, we can uh, use these two expressions to convert this uh, polar coordinate system in cartesian coordinate system so if we have the value of r and uh, theta then we can calculate x and y but for reverse what we do we keep the value of r and y in this equation mm, sorry x and y in this equation so we'll get r square cos square theta plus uh, r square sin square theta is equal to r square and then um, uh, we can write 1 equal to plus sine square theta which is the property of trigonometry also um i'll just on the other hand the same point is can be represented r comma theta instead of this uh, then they have r square equal to x square plus y square so cos theta so x equal to r cos theta and uh, by equal to r sin theta so i think that is pretty much all like uh, in this whole all, uh, all these statements are just the same which i already told you so i think uh, yeah so in this way like we convert polar coordinate system uh, to rectangular and rectangular coordinate system to polar coordinate system so that is uh, i think that is pretty much all and i'll just write correct solution um, given here